In fact, the folks who are doing the best, they're the ones who complain the most. So you can just point these things out. But we still have to close these opportunity gaps. And we have to close the justice gap. How justice is applied, but also how it is perceived, how it is experienced. Eric Holder understands this. That's what we saw in Ferguson this summer when Michael Brown was killed and the community was divided. We know that the unrest continues, and Eric spent some time with the residents and police of Ferguson, and the Department of Justice has indicated that its civil rights investigation is ongoing. Now, I won't comment on the investigation. I know that Michael's family is here tonight. I know that no nothing any of us can say can ease the grief of losing a child so soon. But the anger and the emotion that followed his death awakened our nation once again to the reality that people in this room have long understood, which is in too many communities around the country, a gulf of mistrust exists between local residents and law enforcement. 